I'm Alberto de Oliveira, the Professor Agua from the Groundwater Project. And I have the pleasure to bring you uh, a collaborator that is becoming uh, you know, a regular collaborator to us for you know, our happiness to have someone like Alessio Filecha from, Ita from Italy. He's doing a great job helping us produce some good books in Italian. Uh, Italian, you know, it's a warm language and we need to have uh, Italian uh, readers having hydrogeology books in their own language. Thank you very much, Alessio. Alessio is a geologist from Padova University, Italy, and he was a professor of applied hydrogeology at the University of Trieste and currently works as a consultant. Thank you very much again, uh, Alessio. Uh, please uh, tell, tell us a little bit about yourself, your career, and what you're doing lately, right? And uh, what drives you to bring uh, books into Italian? Since it's, uh, it's not the first time that they're translating a book into Italian for the Groundwater Project. Thank you very much. Welcome. Thank you to you, Mr. Everton. Yes, I'm, I'm very pleased to stay, to see, to be here. Uh, well, I got my degree about your question. Uh, I'm, I got my degree in hydrogeology at Padua University. And uh, after the first uh, approach uh, in the oil geology, I <clears throat> uh, was uh, included in a groundwater project in uh, Nigeria. So uh, I started uh, in hydrogeology a long time ago, and I, I'm still bound to, to this uh, subject. Now I'm working mainly in, uh, as a consultant for a public uh, work authorities and some donor agency, mainly in Africa. Oh, good. Very good. Very good. And so, uh, why translating another book? Well, uh, for me, it's a, a way of, of learning uh, the various aspects of hydrogeology. Because even if I am in uh, in this field, uh, since many years, there are, every day there is something new for me. So it's a real pleasure to to, to learn from people who have uh, a lot more experience uh, than me, maybe. And also, I like uh, uh, the clear way the author used to explain some, uh, let's say, um, not difficult but strange concepts. They go. I like the, the the way they have to to go straight to the point, and also uh, they like. Uh, this is uh, true for for almost all the authors. Uh, they like also to to use some simple methods like uh, pencil and paper to try to understand these topics. I agree. I agree. So, uh, why have you why, why have you picked the book "Groundwater Storage in Confined Aquifer" and why uh, bringing that in, into Italian is important? Well, uh, storage is an important uh, parameter in hydrogeology, yes. and uh, for the confined aquifers. Uh, so, uh, you cannot use only uh, Darcy Law to calculate. Uh, the groundwater potential and how much water can be withdrawn from a, a confined aquifer. And one uh, illustrates this with a very clear example, historical example for the Dakota aquifer. And uh, you can understand quite easily that 80% uh, uh, of the water has been calculated uh, using the groundwater storage. Yes, that's coming true. from uh, from the aquifer. True, true. So, uh, yeah, I, I really agree. I, I really like that book uh, and the examples that Herb Wang uh, uh, produced is is very clear. I, I really enjoyed it. It's, a, it's an important topic. I agree with you. So, uh, would you have any suggestions on how we may improve the connections between the groundwater project and the groundwater community in in Italy? and especially with uh, Italian-speaking community of hydrogeologists? Um, well, the, the first thing that comes to my mind is that uh, uh, 
Yeah, well, I have many colleagues. I know them since a long time. And I also cooperate uh, with the Regional Association of Geologists. So one thing I, I can try to organize is a, a meeting among uh, uh, colleagues, uh, geologists or engineers to illustrate the project, but uh, why not? Also to comment uh, on some books that have been already translated in Italian. That's a good idea. Good idea. I like the idea. I, we, I can, I can bring John Cherry, for example, if you like, for the meeting, if you want to have a... Yeah, uh, maybe uh, with Zoom, organize something via yeah, Zoom. Yep. Yes, we do not pretend John Cherry here in, in Venice, huh? but if he likes, Venice is a beautiful city. Lovely. I love Venice. I love Venice. It is beautiful. It is beautiful. One of the best places I've been in life. Yes. Okay. <laughs> very good. Very good. So thank you very much. Please uh, have your final considerations for us, please. Well, uh, final statement is, is quite uh, straight. Uh, I I would like uh, to, to go on and continue cooperating uh, to ground growth project and bring uh, other colleagues to help to help me. Thank you very much. Thank you for your cooperation. It's a pleasure having you here. You're, uh, I try to read, like I told you, I'm, I'm learning Italian. I try to read your book and it looks very good. I can understand a bit of Italian already and it's closer to Portuguese so I can survive. Congratulations for a job well done. Thank you. Okay. Thanks, Mr. Everton. Thanks a lot.